Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, that was a good one. I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to Supernatural. This game serves as a prequel to Super. Wait, did I say Supernatural? Super normal. <laughs> God damn it, I messed up the intro already. Welcome to Super Normal. This game serves as a prequel to Supernatural which I played about maybe a week or so ago, and then patchwork underscore toxins 2558, yes, nailed that, told me that Super Normal is a game that came out before Supernatural, and so I went to Steam, I was like, whoa, hold on, I didn't even know about this. So I went to Steam, looked it up, and it's made by the same creator. Super Normal came back in like January of this year, and then Supernatural came out, I think last month, as of recording this video. If you're watching in the future, then. Wyatt, thank you for coming so quickly. I just got back into the city, and when I arrived here, I found blood all over the place. No! I am terrified for my daughter, Sophia. No! Her passion was playing the piano, and she's only 14 years old. Please, you have to find out what happened to her and where she is. Mr. Sakamura, I understand how worried you must be. Rest assured. I'll do everything in my power to find your daughter and get to the bottom of this. Can you tell me more about Sophia and the situation? Of course, Wyatt. Sophia's mother passed away a few years ago, and since then, she's been staying alone in this apartment most of the time. I have to travel frequently due to my work, and I haven't been able to spend as much time with her as I'd like. She was a really shy girl, and I worry that her interrupted nature might have made her vulnerable to something sinister. I understand, Mr. Shackman. The more information we have about Sophia, the better our chances of locating her. Are there any friends or acquaintances she might have spent time with recently? She didn't have many friends, to be honest. Her life revolved around her piano and the music studies. I'm afraid I've been too focused on my career and haven't been the best father to her. But right now, that doesn't matter. I just want to find her safe and sound. We'll do our best, Mr. Sakamoto. Any small detail could be vital in this investigation. Is there anything else that you can think of that might help us in our search? Yes, there's something else. You can stay here as long as you need and feel free to use any resources you require for the investigation. Money is no object in finding my daughter and understanding what happened to her. Cooperation is greatly appreciated, Mr. Sakamoto. We'll start right away and keep you informed of any developments. Please, try to remain calm. What the fuck do you keep looking at? Thank you, Wyatt. Your dedication means a lot to me. Oh, there's However, a camera. I have to leave now as I need to make some arrangements. Please keep me updated on any progress, no matter how small the detail. I'll keep you informed every step of the way. Don't worry. I won't rest until we find your daughter. If you remember anything else, or to reach me for any reason, don't hesitate to contact me. I won't, Wyatt. I trust you in your skills and abilities. Find my daughter, and I'll pay whatever it takes. Please, bring her back to me safe and sound. I promise you, Mr. Sakamoto, I'll do my best. Take care, and we'll be in touch soon. Okay! Okay, okay, hold on. I may need to turn the sensitivity down just a little bit, hold on. You can turn the lights on and off using the light switch. Okay, I probably could have figured that one out. So, knowing what I know about Supernatural, I gotta investigate every little detail. Because there are things, wait. The shift not, shift isn't the run button. That's for voice controls. I suppose I'll start with the computer. Not now. Okay, all right. Can I play the piano? No, but somebody played the piano. Wait, move the camera to find a clue. Oh. Bloody handprints in a home where 
Sophia loved playing piano. I sent shivers down my spine. She was in danger within these walls. I must find out. I must find out. I must find out! For the sake of my family! For the sake of Mr. Sakamoto! I must find out! What happened to his daughter? I can't rest until I do! Oh, Sophia. So Sophia, what the hell happened to you? I have to find all the clues. I have to figure it all out. Dear God, Sophia, where are you? Uh, broken mirror? I feel like that's worth an investigation. Broken mirror? Hello? Humble papers. Discarded like they hold no value. But in this investigation, every detail counts. I'll unfold their secrets, no matter how small. So maybe start by unfolding the paper. <laughs> Can I... Broken mirror? Is that not worth an investigation, like, at all? Crumbled pieces of paper. It'd be a desperate attempt to hide information. I'll unfold their secrets and see what they're trying to conceal. He basically said the same thing twice, um, just different format. Like, we get it, Wyatt. We get it that you're, like, a, a great detective. You won't leave any stone unturned. Crumble papers. Possibly overlooked by others. But I won't miss a thing. Might be hidden messages or clues waiting to be discovered. That's generally what clues relate to broken mirror still nothing to say about that i i feel like that is crucial evidence nothing to say blood on the closet board hand smudges a sign of struggle or something more sinister I need to investigate further and find out what happened here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bloody handprint on the sink. This is no accident. Someone was hurt here. I must follow the trail and piece together what transpired in this place. Wyatt, you a funny dude, man. I like you. You a funny, funny, funny dude. Blood on the flush. Hand smudges. This could be a crucial clue. I need to dig deeper. Found all the clues in the bathroom. Great! Pointer for the Luigi boy. Right here. What did he just say? Pointer for the what? Layer of intrigue to the case. Did he just say pointer for the Luigi board? Pointer for the Luigi board. Bloody handprints on the coating board. A chilling sight. This crime scene holds dark secrets. And I won't stop until I find the truth behind these disturbing marks. Nobody's done dishes for weeks! Good lord! This is a disturbing sight. Use matches near the sink. Someone was here recently need to find out who and if they hold any information about the missing person's whereabouts turns out it's mr. Sakamoto he just wanted to hire an investigator just to feel special before he goes to jail another set of dirty dishes with dried blood a troubling pattern emerges Hidden use matches. Deliberately concealed. Not very good! Somebody was here. Those are not concealed all that well. That's new! They didn't do that in Supernatural. A massive blood trail behind the pot. A clear sign of struggle. All clues in the kitchen. So I got the kitchen, the bathroom. I would assume there's clues in the living room. 
bloody handprints and missed the piano-loving environment. It's unsettling to think what might have happened to Sophia. I'll leave no stone unturned in my search for answers. This guy talks to himself a lot. Literally me, somebody whose entire job is based around talking to him. So. This crime scene tells a chilling tale. Bloody handprints on the wall in front of Sophia's favorite piano. He keeps repeating himself. Haunting scene that demands answers. There we go. Found all the clues near the piano. All right. I think that might have been all of them. Not all the clues, but I think that might have been all the clues for that room. Crumbling pieces of paper scattered around. Could be torn notes or messages. I need to carefully piece them together. You might reveal something significant. Near the entrance door. For show. Hey. So is the living room not an option to find the clues for? Because I got near the piano. I got the bathroom, the kitchen. I don't think this area here is something that I need to find clues for. A lot of the clues have something to do with bloody handprints or blood trails. And I'm not seeing a Luigi board. Luigi board on the shelf. This case just took an unexpected turn into the mysterious. I'll need to explore its significance and potential connections to the missing person. Clues in the living room. This is not this is not the living room. I mean, I guess consider if you this never mind. Uh upstairs we go. Can I close this? I don't feel all too safe with this open. Close, please. It just looks like we're underwater. Am I in the Palace of Atlantis? What the fuck? Medication. Unexpectedly finding a plethora of pill boxes. This raises questions about the family's mental state. Somebody was up here popping perkies. Need to examine these closely. Understand oh, yeah. their significance. For single use, rectal injection only. Discard. <laughs> okay. More pills. Found all the clues in the bedroom. Easy! I'm the best detective there is. Stop playing with me. This is a big ass laundry room for you to just have. A washer. Like, is there? Is this a dryer too? Does it work as a dual purpose? A massive blood trail. With a handprint on the laundry machine. Surrounded by foul-smelling clothes. A gun. An, an unexpected sight. Pistol. In this case, raises serious concerns. I need to be cautious. And determine its relevance to the missing person's investigation. Found all the clues in the laundry room. Now what? Because I can't open any doors. I'm pretty sure I found all the clues. Can I go on the computer now? I have other things to do. Like what? Oh, hello. Hello? Hello? Is that not the phone? Am I not supposed to answer it? I, I feel like... I forgot how frustrating these games were. 
Oh, I had to zoom in. Well, it's Masato Sakamoto again. I'm sorry for not mentioning this earlier, but I just remembered something that might be crucial for the investigation. I have security cameras installed all over my apartment. You can access the camera footage through my laptop. It has night vision capabilities and works best when the lights are off in the specific room where you want to use the camera. Please be careful when reviewing the footage. It's essential not to miss any details. I hope this information helps you in search for Sofia. If you find anything, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please let me know immediately. I'm counting on you to bring my daughter back to me safe and sound. I'm gonna be honest, Thank Chief. You for your dedication, Wyatt. The only autosave has just occurred. There's no going back now. You have to face what you signed up for. Oh, the fun begins now. I'm gonna be honest with you, Mr. Sakamoto. Your daughter is gone. She is deceased. She's a ghost now. She ain't coming back any to anybody safe and sound. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, hi! What are you doing up there? Well, I guess I know where I'm going. Going up to the laundry room to spot some paranormal activity. Sophia! I know we're a little short on laundry, but it's not nice that... To... Um, Sophia? Well, where'd you go? I'm actually terrified right now. I'm expecting a jump scare. Ah, Sophia ain't shit. I'm not scared. I'm not worried about you. Come at me with the full force of the demon. So what are we just like five nights at Freddy and it up in here or am I actually supposed to do something in that room that I saw Sophia in? Assuming that that was Sophia. I mean, maybe I was supposed to investigate something up there. Oh. Okay, she had her hand on the light switch, so maybe I was supposed to turn the light off and then go back down to the computer and use the night vision mode. Hi, Sophia. Hey, she kind of getting down. Show me them dance moves, girl. <laughs> right, this is serious. recognition has been unlocked you can now attempt to communicate okay does it still track my mic like does she get pissed if i yell too much or is that just a supernatural thing uh, i think q is the okay um what happened Where are you? Oh. 
You know what, Sophia? That's kind of personal, but if you must ask, I am, okay? You look lonely. You look lonely. Well, you know what? You look dead, okay? You're dead! You find email. Yeah, email of what? Where's- I mean, I need, like, the login to get into the email. Should I be turning all the lights off? I feel like that's a thing that I should be doing. Get my flashlight at the ready. No, I want the lights off. I know safety and security is like a- is a- is a must-have, but for this investigation, I have to get rid of my safety and security. That was my best Wyatt impression. I think it's tracking my mic now. Maybe? I don't know. The thing showed up and then it went away. I'm not gonna follow those. The fuck do you think this is? Why on earth would I follow the bloody footprints? I mean, I guess I have to for the sake of story. Sophia, now why would you trail bloody footprints down these white set of stairs? Oh, where's the goss going, guys? Where's the goss going? Did she just turn all the lights off for me? I mean, thank you. I was gonna, I was already in the process of doing such myself. Wait, what if I... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I'm so sorry. M.A. find email so this says one ma why does it sometimes pick up my mic and sometimes it doesn't down to the camera that's got to be a clue for some paranormal activity I don't like how the events in this game are kind of just like randomized it's like there is no there's no real objective that progresses the game you kind of just walk around until you find something or until something happens just out of nowhere and I don't know if that's part of the gaming style oh Sophia, you shouldn't be doing that. Sophia? Let's not bang our heads up against the walls, please. Okay, this girl's fucking nuts. I'd take the old lady over this one.
Why turn the light on if you wanted me to turn it off in the first place? Because I assume that that's going to give me a clue, and the light was already off until you came and did your whole, like, thing on the balcony and turned the light on. You know, you're a pretty counterproductive ghost, if I do say so myself, and I've seen quite a few ghosts in my day. This is a counterproductive one. The third paranormal clue to the email. Okay, M-A-R-K, Mark. Yeah, so one is M-A, two is R-K. So is this the password or the username? But for why? But why? From now on, just don't touch any of the lights. That's just the gist of it. Supernatural, you just have to keep your voice down. This game, just don't touch any of the fucking lights. I can't see anything if anything is happening. Okay, I'm in the mindset that like, I need to be quiet and so I didn't scream at that jump scare. But like, it was just a natural reaction, I guess. I don't know what's happening, man. I don't know what this game wants from me. I, of course, will give my final thoughts after I finish the game, but like... Is this part of the clue? Is this a letter? Or is that just like... I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'll just figure it out as I go. Now, obviously, whenever paranormal activity like that happens, I have to go back to my cameras so that I can check that area. See if I can find any clues. Oh, something's happening in the kitchen. Somebody wants my attention in the kitchen. What's up, Sophia? What do you need? You want me to turn the lights off in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. So is this just like a game of keep the lights off and you'll make progress or what exactly is the best way to make progress in this game? Because I've kind of just been wandering the house until something happens. And I'm starting to think that that's just the meta of how these games work. Ooh, 2009. Okay, so maybe it's Mark 2009? A little late for that. Oh, what? Two, zero, zero, nine. Maybe it's not uppercase. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe... What is supposed to be the password? Hold on. So my first clue was M-A. Second clue was... R-K. Quiet. 
Quiet. There's nothing behind me. Nothing behind me. You also didn't. S yeah, see, I'm not understanding that. Sometimes it picks up my voice, sometimes it doesn't? Like, what? Now find password. Oh, Mark2009 is the username. Hello? I'm hearing flickering. Who wants my attention? The bathroom. Found the first clue to the password. S. Seriously? That's all you got for me? What do you want it more? What the fuck was that? Stop breaking shit. I don't know when or why it stops tracking my mic, but sometimes it just does. Also, this is a one, and that's a five. So I don't think it's... I don't think that they're giving me the password in order. I got one, I got S, W. Is that the piano? Are you playing Minecraft music? It really sounds like you're playing fucking Minecraft music. really sounded like Minecraft music. Did anybody else pick up on that? I got an S, W, and a T. Oh, okay. S, W, T, P. I get the hint. Okay. So I've got S W E. I need to find one more, I think. Maybe. Sophia, that's not funny.
Is she killing me when she does this? Like, what happens? Why do you keep telling me to look behind me? And then you kill me. So it's S W E. Can we just talk about this for a second, Sophia? I'm not falling for it. Not again. is happening I'm coming if only I can move a little faster I'll get to you in just a moment there's a seven how many letters and numbers do I need to find I gotta start writing this down a few moments later was there something if i use night vision mode was there something that i could see on where she was crucified yeah i i know the bedroom okay i guess my camera doesn't even have access to that area There's an eight. I haven't even found four. I have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Where the hell is the fourth number? No. I obviously had to look behind me. I obviously had to look behind me to walk out of the room. This next number better be a four. What is that, an E? Four E? Either that's an E or an F. I'm gonna try an E or an F. Please let that be the last one. S W E E T P J K. It's probably an F. S W E F T P J K. I'm I must be missing another one. Unless it's case sensitive. Is the password case sensitive? Because I can make that happen. There we go. It was case sensitive. Rachel Maine. It's really nice to meet you too, Mark. Chloe James, did you like them? Martha Soske, so happy you're also 14. Amanda Clark, what is your address again? Sophia Sakamoto, I am so looking forward to it, Mark. Okay. So she was giving her address out to people online. Don't do that, kids. I don't care how friendly they seem. If you don't know them personally, 
If you don't know them in person, you don't give your address out to anybody. Not even your Club Penguin besties. Oh, I can click on it. Oh, these are messages from... Maybe? Okay, hold on. Hey, Mark. Oh, hey, Martha. I remember you. How's it going? I'm doing great. Thanks. I can't believe we're both 14, and that made me really happy. It's not easy finding people our age on here, you know? Totally agree. It's cool to meet someone in the same age group. So what have you been up to lately? Just finding... Just finished reading a fantastic fantasy series, and I'm so hyped about it. Also, been playing a lot of soccer with my friends. How about you? Nice, I'm into sci-fi books. Just finished one that blew my mind, and guess what? Soccer is my favorite sport, too. We're like book and sports buddies. No way, this is amazing. It's like we're already getting along so well. I really want to meet you in person, you know? You know what would be even more amazing? If you'd come over to my place next Saturday afternoon, we could have a mini sci-fi and fantasy book club. Play some video games, and my mom makes the best homemade pizza. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. A book club, video games, and pizza. Count me in, Mark. I'd love to hang out at your place. That's awesome, Martha. I knew you'd be up for it. It's going to be a blast, I promise. I can't wait. This sounds like a perfect way to spend a Saturday afternoon. See you at your place then, Mark. Okay. So who are these other names? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, I need to read through all of these. Hey, Rachel. I'm so happy we met here. It's like super cool. It's like a super cool adventure. Wait, so who the hell is Mark? Because Mark's been kind of chatting it up with all these kids. Hiya, Mark. I know, right? This app is like magic. Teehee, I'm bouncing with joy. You're totally right, Rachel. It's like we found a hidden treasure or something. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, tough question. I can't pick. Just one. But I'd say chocolate sprinkles and marshmallows. Yum. Haha, uh, I agree. Ice cream rocks. I'm a cookies and cream fan, but I like trying all flavors. We should have an ice cream party someday. Yes, ice cream party with all the toppings. It's going to be the bestest party ever. I just know it. Woohoo. And hey, I saw your profile that you like animals. Me too. What's your favorite furry friend? Hold on. I'll get right to you in just a second. I'm not done reading. Aw, animals are the cutest. I adore puppies. They're like tiny balls of fluff and love. What's yours? puppies there are adorable indeed but i'm a big fan of kittens too they're so playful and perfectly cute ah you're so funny kittens that's so true we're like two peas in a pot mark can't believe we're both animal lovers totally it's like destiny brought us together i feel like we're characters from a magical storybook haha ah, you're making me giggle we should create our fantasy tale our fairy tale together filled with laughter and friendship yes our fair fairy tale adventure let's explore the Interesting. All right, back to my emails. So Mark must be Mr. Sakamoto. Because this is his computer. These are his emails. Don't make me type this shit in again. I'm on board, Mark. This is going to be the best adventure ever. Super duper excited. Me too, Rachel. Let's hold hands and step into the wonderful story together. Here's my phone. Da -da 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 -da. Let's meet at my place. Sounds great. Can't wait to meet you in person, Mark. Hey, Chloe. I just wanted to say I really liked the selfies you sent me. You look amazing in all of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thanks, Mark. I'm so glad you liked them. I was a little nervous about sending them, but you made me feel more confident. Are you kidding? You're natural photogenic. These selfies are just a glimpse of how awesome you are. You're too sweet, Mark. I have to admit, it's nice getting compliments from someone as nice as you. Well, it's easy to compliment someone as beautiful as you. Thanks, Mark. Your messages make me smile. So what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Well, besides admiring your selfies, I enjoy playing basketball with my friends, and I also like trying out new recipes in the kitchen. Wow, you're quite the all-rounder. 
That's really cool. Maybe you can teach me some basketball moves sometime. I'd love to. We can have our mini basketball practice sessions at my place, and I bet you'd be an amazing basketball player. Haha, <laughs> who knows, but I'm definitely up for a challenge. Here's my number. Text me when you're free to come. Deal. We'll be at each other we'll be each other's cheerleaders. Ready to take you on. Hey Mark, oh no, I messed up big time. I totally forgot your house address. I'm on my way to see you, and now I'm kinda lost. Can you please remind me where you live? Hey Amanda, haha, no worries at all. My address is such and such. You know, the one with the pale green door. Thanks, Mark, you're a lifesaver. I don't know how I could be so forgetful. It's all good, really. Happens to everyone. I'm just so glad you reached out before you got too lost. So where are you right now? I'm not far from your street. I think just need to make sure I'm going the right way. All right, no problem. If you need any help with directions, just let me know. I can guide you. You're the best, Mark. Thanks for being so cool about it. Can't wait to see you. Same here, Amanda. See you soon. Safe travels. Thanks, Mark. Catch you soon. Hi, Mark. How's your day going? Hey, Sophia, my day is going pretty well. Thanks. How about yours? I'm doing great, especially now that we're chatting. I have to admit, Mark, I'm really liking getting to know you. You seem like a genuine and interesting person. Oh, thank you, Sophia. That's really sweet of you to say. I'm enjoying getting to know you, too. You have such a great sense of humor and a kind heart. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. But seriously, I can't wait to meet you in person. Talking to you on this app is nice, but I feel like there's so much more to discover face to face. I completely agree. It's always different when you meet someone in person. We should definitely plan a meetup sometime once we're both comfortable with it. Yes, definitely. That sounds wonderful. It's been a while since I've been this excited about meeting someone new. You got me eagerly looking forward to it. I'm flattered, Sophia. I feel the same way about you. You're intriguing, and I can't wait to learn more about you. <gasps> they talked a lot. There's something I feel I should share with you before we meet. It's a bit personal, but I want you to know more, know me better. My dad works a lot, and he's hardly ever home. Sometimes I get lonely, and I wish he could spend more time with me. I appreciate you opening up to me, Sophia. It must be tough feeling like you don't have enough time with your dad. Is he a demanding job? Is he in a demanding job and, or travels a lot? Yeah, he's in a high-ranking position in his company. And it requires a lot of travel and long hours. I know he works hard for our family, but I miss having quality time with him. It's just something that's been on my mind lately. I understand how you feel. It's essential to have that family connection and support. Maybe when we meet, we can share more about your interests and how you've been coping with the situation. I'm here to listen and support it. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> it means a lot to me that you're so understanding and willing to listen. I look forward to sharing more about myself with you, and I'm excited to learn about your life, too. The feeling is mutual, Sophia. We'll take it one step at a time and see where this goes. And who knows? Maybe we'll both find something special in each other. That sounds perfect, Mark. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Until then, let's keep getting to know each other. Okay. Few questions here. Who the fuck is Mark? Because if Mr. Sakamoto... This is Mr. Sakamoto's computer, right? So why are all these messages from Mark to different girls... But then Sophia, like, these are all email. I'm so confused. And then if Mark was luring these young women into his home, if they're, like, ages 14 and younger, maybe a little older, they don't drive. Their parents are 110% going to be taking them to this man's home. So how does any of this transpire? How do... <laughs> How do these people and then and then the kids would have to go, mom, dad, I'm going to meet my friend Mark at his house. Can you drop me off? And they'll be like, oh, where'd you meet Mark from online? Let me see your chat messages. I just feel like there's a lot of things missing here. There's a lot of logic that's just going out of the window, but it's a video game. It's a horror game. So, of course, you know, there's no such thing as logic in this situation. So why would there be? I think I'm just being too critical. I just need to shut my brain off and realize that I'm being haunted by a ghost who was killed by a, a, a pedophile, pretty much. It was him all along. Who? Mr. Sakamoto? Yo, I'm confused. Unlock a bad end. 
In the chilling, desolate apartment, the cold body of Detective Wyatt was lay, lay lifeless. The seasoned investigator had been ruthlessly uh, stilled by the very man he had been closing in on, Mr. Sakamoto. Wyatt's relentless pursuit of truth, his dodged determination to unravel the grim secrets held within these walls, had brought him face to face with the darker reality that he had imagined. The horrifying truth was clear. Mr. Sakamoto, Sophia's father, had been the perpetrator behind his daughter's disappearance and the demise of other innocent girls. So I called it! I fucking called that! Turns out it's Mr. Sakamoto. He just wanted to hire an investigator just to feel special before he goes to jail. I fucking called that shit. He pretended to be Mark. But why would he need to lure his own daughter? That part doesn't make any sense. It also doesn't make any sense that he was able to lure other children into the homes. And I... Oh, that ending. I, I think I'm being just too critical. But the revelation had come too late. Wyatt's discovery cut short by brutal end. When his body was found at the crime scene, the once bustling apartment was now in eerie silence. Mr. Sakamoto, nowhere to be seen. So how the hell do I get the good ending? In the first game, you got the good ending by killing the detect the 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 officer. And then in, in the bad ending, you got that by letting the officer kill you. So was he hot on my trail or something like that? Was I just not, was I supposed to leave? What the hell was supposed to happen? The journey for Detective Wyatt has only just begun. What lies ahead is bound to you, is bound to leave you breathless. And his adventure captivated your imagination. If his adventure captivated your imagination, don't hesitate to leave a review on Steam for those who, no, no, no. Until then, see you, okay. And um, this is a trailer for Supernatural. Where are you? Okay, this fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. Oh, I get it. She definitely didn't do all that. <laughs> uh, return to menu. I've already got the game. I've already played it. So what happens if I do a little continue? I cannot continue. Are you telling me that I have to play the game from the very beginning in order to get the good ending? Is that what I'm hearing right now? How would you even get the good ending? Do I have to also look up the video for that? Cause there's, there's no way I'm spending another hour and a half of my life trying to do I, should I, what if I, I already know the passcode. So maybe I can just get into the computer right away. Fuck. Yeah. This part also doesn't make any sense to me either. Like if there were, if she was killed by her own father, why were there so many blood prints all over the house? Like you would think that he would just have to have her in one room to kill her. Why did she go all over the house leaving humble papers? My other question is, why if if Mr. Sakamoto was the one who did all this, why the fuck would he bring me in here without cleaning up the evidence? It's like he wanted to get caught. This doesn't make any sense. I am met with genuine confusion right now. <laughs> okay, so I was missing an achievement. Um, I hadn't found all the clues in the kitchen. And I think that affects the ending that you get. Because if you find all the clues in the house, then you might be able... You might be able to get the good ending. So I'm gonna approach this door, and he's supposed to close the door back, and then call the police or something like that. Because I did look up a video, not on how to get the ending, but what it was.
So now he's supposed to close the door. Yep, okay. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, that took me like three attempts. Case closed. Detective Wyatt stood in the dimly lit room that overwhelmingly... The overwhelmingly... The overwhelming evidence surrounded him. It was clear now. The person behind all the unspeakable acts was none other than Mr. Sakamo, Sophia's daughter. Her father. Fuck! He had exploited his daughter's shyness and isolation, luring innocent girls into his house and leading them to their tragic end. How? He was under the name Mark, not Sophia. With grim determination, Wyatt picked up the phone and dialed the police station. He relayed... His findings, his voice steady, despite the heaviness in his heart, the truth was horrifying, but it was his duty to bring it to light. Soon after Mr. Sakamoto was apprehended by the police, his reign of terror brought to an end. It was a somber victory for Wyatt. He had solved the case, but the cost was a bitter pill to swallow. However, he took solace in knowing that justice had been served and no more innocent lives would be taken by Mr. Sakamoto. Okay. Wow. Shut the fuck up, Sophia. Um, I think these are an interesting couple of games. Supernormal and Supernatural are, are fun concepts. Um, the voice recognition did not need to be a part of the game at all. I didn't need to use it once in either of the two games. And neither did it like do anything crucial for me. If you're going to add something like this, I think voice recognition games are always a hit or miss. Um, are you going to give me the trailer again? Yeah. I'll be right back. As I was saying, I think these games are kind of like a hit or miss because some of them can can do the whole voice recognition thing properly. And then other ones can like it. It's a give and take. I think that the atmosphere with, with this game was fantastic. I think the atmosphere for both games are great. It did a good job of making me feel uncomfortable when I wasn't already expecting the the jump scares or like the creepy bits. Supernatural for sure was the scariest, but I think after playing Supernatural and knowing what I knew about that game and how the mechanics worked, I was less scared with playing Supernormal. And I think I would have felt the same if I had played Supernormal first and then Supernatural because uh, maybe not, I don't know. Cause like the, the grandma, she like walks around and actually interacts with you where this game, Sophia, doesn't do that i don't know it's an interesting game it's an interesting concept i got the good and the bad ending and that's genuinely all i really wanted <laughs> if you enjoyed the video you already know what to do go ahead and drop a like you know you want to and if you're new around here you know you want to subscribe to 1k before gta 6 question mark if you want to see my most recent video i'll have that link somewhere around here and if you want to see supernatural i'll also have that link somewhere around here as well i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys stay safe out there take it easy and big body out